Hello and welcome to another video. There are many ways in which your ESP32 board can be incredibly useful. In this video I will show you how to retrieve data from Victron Solar Charge Controller and show it on ESP32 development board, of course. The Victron Smart Solar line of controllers uses Bluetooth to transmit data to official Victron Connect app. Victron was kind enough to make their system open by releasing all the necessary documentation and making it easy to access this data using an ESP32. Here you can see a paid project I uh, created for one Australian company. This is basically a timer that can control some appliance using this relay module. You can set uh, specific timers for the output to turn on or off. You can manually control or you can use countdown timer. Here we can see time and date and you can configure many settings as usual. And what is most interesting for this video, it can also monitor your solar charger Victor battery and panels using this system. We can see that now my charger is not charging because it is raining outside, but we can see that it is connected and updated a few seconds ago and my battery is at 12.03 volts. And today I accumulate 20 watt hours. There are also history data and and some error warnings built in. The board I'm using is a LilyGo T panel. We choose this board because it can be powered directly from a solar battery from 7 to 24 volt. And what is most important this board is very well protected in this plastic enclosure. Another benefit is this large 480 and 400 by 480 pixel touch display. This is 4 inch display. Large screen as this one makes it easier to navigate through settings and user interface. Very interesting board with two ESP32 built in. I already made some projects using it and I always recommend this board to my customers because this nice protection and some additional cool feature features. If you are interested in this board you can find affiliate link in the description. Also if you want to support my work please hit that subscribe like you can become my Patreon, you can buy me coffee or you can just watch many of my videos. Thank you. This is by far my most advanced project which took me many hours to make and uh, I encountered many problems with it. At first it seems simple. Yes, part related to timers, countdown timer and output is really simple. We have real time clock module here and we have this relate relay module here both of these are produced by creation company called Sodred, and i love to use these i square c modules because they are so easy to use with lily go boards so that part was easy but soon i added bluetooth user interface was so slow it was lagging and so after many tweaks i solved this with simple trick i used both cores of esp32 one was in charge of user interface time and output and second one was used only for bluetooth communication with victor charge controller and after using plenty mutex and other tricks, system became stable and reliable. As I said, today is a rainy day here, so I connected my 
power supply just to show you that system is working and now I'm charging my battery with 62 watts or 4.6 amps are going into battery if I turn off my power supply after 15 sec seconds because this system is updating after 15 seconds we will see that value is zero i hope you understand but this is paid project so i can't share this code with you but i made this simple example for lilygo t display s3 which will help you to get started code is in the description so feel free to check it out my code is based on this example i found on the internet so thank you mr hoberman and please read those instructions carefully because you will need to get an get an encryption key from your victron connect app and here are instructions how that's it i hope this video was interesting it was very interesting to me i hope we have few new subscriber and i just wanted to say once again say it once again i really love sandwiches bye see you next week